This week, I rediscovered the story of Polly Murray, the first African-American female to be ordained a priest in the Episcopal Church. I reread an article from The New Yorker that I commend to you that is linked in this blog. I hope you'll read it. Polly writes in one of her poems this great line, Hope is a song in a weary throat. Hope is a song in a weary throat. Our throats, my throat, my life feels weary. My soul feels weary and tired. We are run down by worry and anxiety at the unknown, by all the chaos in our world. But hope, hope is that thing, that Christian promise given to us in the resurrection of Jesus that changes everything. It is for me the thing that makes following the way of Jesus worth worth it all, worth my life. It is the thing that makes all of it make sense. For we live in a world that only deals death, that deals finality, that deals pain. But hope, hope says otherwise. Hope says those ultimately are not the last word. Life, in the end, wins. Polly Murray's quote reminds us that hope isn't born out of perfection. Hope doesn't only come when we have it all figured out and we discover some big secret about life. Hope is a flower growing through the cracks in the sidewalk. Hope is life coming from brokenness. Hope is light shining even when it all seems dark. Hope is an empty tomb after a crucifixion. You see, hope is the very thing in our lives that lets us move forward. It is sung from a weary throat in these days, but that doesn't mean that it is any less powerful. Hope is the promise that you are given a life that will always go on, that love will always shine, and that joy is promised for you even in these days. Might you sing and live a hope, even though it might be coming from a weary throat.